Uh-huh, that's right. Sex bomb, sex bomb, come and get it on. My name is Mr. 2020. That is me feeling like Tom Jones, just having some fun. Today is the 25th of February, 8.05 a.m. I am infinitely curious. Would you drop me an email or give me an inbox? Whoever you can reach out to me, let me know. How much fun can you stand today? And I don't want a head answer. I want to know actually how much fun are you capable of standing today? Because we did a live show. USA Thursday, Australia Friday. It's a day different here, which is really cool. And I live in a different kind of day than most people because most people, they focus on how much can they stand. I can't stand it anymore. What they can't stand anymore of. See, they focus on stuff that's just frustrating. And they live life in ways that are frustrating. And they figure out what will work, what will change their life is more frustration. You know, if they really force their manifesting, it'll happen. Right, EL? It's not about force, it's about fun. So we did a show on Friday, and for whatever reason, spontaneously, between me and Victoria, we came up with this whole idea for every question, there's going to be a song. And during the show, somebody, or one of our dearest friends, suggested that I sing, Sex Bomb, Sex Bomb, Come and Get It On. And I thought, that sounds fun. But I didn't notice it till after the show. And Victoria pointed it out. And it's like, oh my God. Then Stephanie and Remarkable brought it up. It's like, oh my God, sex bomb, sex bomb. You get how much fun? I mean, but by the way, I know someone's going to get offended because I used the word S and the, oh, good Lord. Meanwhile. I do want to know how much fun can you stand, and what if you doubled that, right? By the way, some people, they need a lot of preparation to have something spontaneous and fun show up, right? It's like having to drive 24 hours. I, I grew up in Pennsylvania, and it took like 20 hours, 24 hours to drive to Disneyland or Disney World, or Disney Florida, whatever it is. And one of the kids in the neighborhood always went every year. They'd get in the car and they'd drive to the Disneyland, the Disney World. And they said it was a hellish trip to get there. But when they got there, they had fun. And I'm not a fan of hellish trips to have fun. It's like makeup sex. I once knew a girl that was really into makeup sex. And for sex to get better with her, the fight had to get worse. Does this sound like a pattern that you really want in your life? Sex bomb, sex bomb, come and get it on. So we do the show, and I'm answering questions. This will be the date we have put on it, the 23rd of February. A live show, you can find that at feelitrealfun.com. So we build a question, we can build a song into every answer just for fun. And I've got more positive, lovely feedback from that. From people that are into having fun. I've also got a few people that reach out and they say, I wish you'd just get to the point. I wish you'd just tell us exactly what to do. I wish that you'd join me in my rational pursuit of happiness. Step by step, what do I need to do? You see, there are some step by steps. There really are. But this is an art as well as a science. And one of the things that I notice is those who are most instantaneous experience the most spontaneous. The more spontaneous you have, the more instantaneous it shows up. And when you can allow yourself to explore and discover your state, Neville Goddard says, the moment, a, a, the moment a, de a desire is upon you, that is when you surrender to its assumption. Most people spend months trying to figure out what they want, and then they spend months trying to figure... It seems like months. They, they spend this long time trying to figure out exactly what they want, then figure out how to manifest it, instead of doing what we teach. 
And yes, there is a little step-by-step. -step. But here's the thing. Without the fun and the philosophy, the step-by-step -step is going to suck the life out of you. And you're probably going to add things in and leave things out without knowing it. But on the other hand, I'm chatting with a friend of mine who decided to make this work. In other words, they got tired of manifesting. And, and my comment is, how could you possibly? Because if you make kissing, well, if I kiss her, then she'll do the nook-nook. Right? Sex bomb, sex bomb. See, if I kiss her, and I hold her hand, and I look into her eyes, and it suddenly all becomes work. I was in a relationship once where the goal was to have a baby. What do you think happened? The whole Tom Jones thing left the room. And here's what I want you to do. I want you to put on the state of Tom Jones. Right? Is there anybody that's had more fun in music? I mean, I don't know. The guy's ridiculous. I just love him. <laughs> Meanwhile, you can imagine my surprise when we, when we manifested up someone in our garden that knows him. More on that some other time. But here's the fun that we have. Ah. <sighs> All right, if you got gold today, nevillegoddardstore.com. We've got so many goodies over there. There's only so much I can do in a podcast. Hopefully inspire you to stop doing dumb shit and start doing something that's fun. If you want to have more fun doing this, nevillegoddardstore.com. My email's there. You could drop me an email. Let me know how much fun you're willing to tolerate today. Meanwhile, or you can dive deeper too, nevillegoddardstore.com. So just for fun. You get what I did today? I imagined up a fun-filled podcast. And ain't giving to some lovely people that requested that I sing. Sex boom, sex boom. You get I'm not acting as if I'm Tom Jones. I'm reacting to the world as if I am. Having the adventure of a lifetime. Imagine up something lovely for right now as we go into the silence. The sun will come out tomorrow. You get that's how most people live. They live according to the, the words, not the feelings. And they think words matter. See, in my world, the sun will come up for 20. It's already in the sky. It's lovely. Yes, it is. The sun will come out for 20. You are the sunshine. You are the sunshine. You are the sunshine. Have a lovely day. Dive deeper, soar higher. How much fun can you stand? NevilleGoddardStore.com